In the federal state of Salzburg in the west of Austria, organic farming accounts for half of all cultivated land. And it's here in this region that the family of Sebastian Herzog set up a farm 300 years ago. Today, he produces milk as well as beef and pork. Everything's bio-certified, a big advantage, he says. One liter of milk produced through conventional farming currently sells at between 37 and 39 euro cents in Austria, compared to 50 cents for organic milk, which is quite a difference. We also get higher subsidies for biofarming. Being an organic farmer makes me happy because this way we can do our part to protect species and biodiversity. In these times of debate about climate change, I think organic farming is a good answer from the agricultural sector. A form of farming Sebastian Herzog enjoys introducing to the numerous visitors. His family also offer guest rooms. Here's one of our double rooms. We rent it out at 500 euros a week. Linking agriculture and tourism, a model that's popular in Austria. For bioproducers, it's added security. Tourism represents 40% of our total revenue. Combined with agriculture, it allows me to have a relatively stable income. And I now believe that one line of business could not work without the other. On the one hand, tourists want to spend their holidays on a fully functioning farm. And on the other, the tourism income allows easier investment in agriculture. The main opening for Austrian producers? Broad distribution. Since the 1990s, supermarkets have had their own bio brands and today the offering is broad. More than a thousand products for this brand from sandwich spread to cheese and coffee. An approach that has brought organic farming to a wider public. Having our own line of organic products has helped such goods become widely accessible throughout Austria. Obviously, that creates big opportunities for farmers. It also means consumers have easy access to these organic products, which are everywhere, and at a price that's really acceptable for most of our customers. Supermarkets now account for three quarters of the organic market. Not all farmers are happy with this dominance, though, and some are looking for alternatives. In the Burgenland region, producers have created their own market. Every first Sunday of the month, it's a bustle. After years working on his father's farm, Martin Pozza has just set up his own. The 26-year-old has decided not to go for big distribution, opting instead for direct sales at the farm and in markets. He says it's a choice he doesn't regret. What's great with direct sales is that you can fix your own prices. To a point, you're not depending on a big buyer or on middlemen. And also, by being in direct contact with consumers, it's a great and easy way to share and communicate our philosophy of farming. And I find that amazing. Austria may have been a trailblazer, but organic farming is developing elsewhere in Europe as well, increasing competition. The unprecedented participation of the Greens in a government with the Conservatives since last month has given hope to bioplayers, but environmental groups remain wary. The program of the new government includes several points relating to organic farming, but few concrete measures. It says biological agriculture should be encouraged and expanded, but not how or when that objective will be attained. We'll see now if the Greens keep their big campaign promises. Patience, counter the Greens. Putting in place an ambitious biopolicy takes time, says this member of parliament. The government has only been in power for a month. Not everything is set in stone. Ahead of us is a legislative period of five years. But organic farming will obviously be a priority. For instance, we've already fixed the percentages for the supply of bioproducts to all federal institutions. We want soon to be approaching 30% of organic products and from 2035, 50%. That way, the state will be creating new opportunities. In 2018, the organic farming market in Austria was worth 1.9 billion euros, 5% up on the year before.